Shalim Aleichem, the Sikh of Balak Gimel, is based on two Fabrinians that ever held in Tafshit Test 1969. And um, if you look here, so you'll see that the Rebbe started it on the Fabrengen of Yud Gimel Tamas, which was a very long Fabrengen. It's huge, hours and hours and hours. The Rebbe then introduced the idea that Chitas, because it's the Balasim Chavagulu, Yud Bish Tamas, the Tidik Rebbe, and like the Tidik Rebbe said, it's not his Takana, this is Takana that was already there, but he was, he revealed it and publicized it and asked to do it. The Rebbe spoke about Chumash, Tehillim, and Tanya, and how exactly to do it. And then the Rebbe said, we'll talk about something to do with the Shir Chumash of Yibbez and Gimel Tamas, and that's the last parish of Balak and the first parish of Pinchas. And at the end of Parshish Balak, it spoke about Vihina Yishman Nei Sol, by Yaakov and Emesha, that was Shabbos, Yibbez Tamas, and this is uh, Sunday Yid Gimel Tamas, etc. Um, the story with Pinchas, and then the beginning of Pinchas, Vihina Nei Sol, Nei Sol, Nei Sol. Um, then the went on to the, explain the idea of the it's understood. What do you mean? Moshe Rabbeinu married over from Matan Teda. When, when the Teda was given, everyone was playing Nech, etc. But they never asked. And the answer was that the Taina was that Moshe was a Kain, and that Giyaris is a Surla Kain. And then the whole Shakavatari and the Teda, it's that Moshe, Kiddush, and the Isha, etc. Now, and then the devil went on to also talk about someone connected with the parish of Yid Gimel Tamas. And we learned an amazing Indian that he was standing and atoning until the Mason literally revived. Um, it was Pashat Ache Yichyu Amesim. And the devil goes into a whole lumbish thing about the Dagit Shavar on that. Then the devil, in the next Fabrengen, which was, as we said, Shabbos Parshas Matis Masay. The Rebbe went on and he was talking about Iskafia, Ishapcha, etc., the three Madregas, and Ishapcha itself. Um, it's not just that you use it for Kedusha, but it actually turns into Kedusha, etc., like the difference between Gamzul and Avid, Gamzul and Teva, and Komandar Achmanu the Atav Avid, what Hashem does for the good. And this is itself good. That's a whole different, that's a much higher level, the difference between Nabakiva and Nachomish Gamzul, etc. Then the Debra spoke about the idea of um, Kana Kinesi, that Pinchas stood up and fought the war. And, and at the end of Parshat Balak, including Parshat Pinchas. And the Debra went on to say that we know that Yud Beis Yitimul Tammuz, there was also the Kana Kinesi. Um, like we learned the Sicha, the idea of Mr. Snevish, the Balgul of the Simcha, even though he didn't have a Chiyuv, but nevertheless, he did the Kana is Kinasi, it's the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Um, and the difference between the mysterious nefesh and the parsha that was not through the nasi at all, um, and it was in the way of kvuda, and versus the bal simcha and the gula that was it was done by the fidi kedeba, and it was done in the way of chesed. Now, interesting, Rebbe spoke about the idea that was done in the kvuda, and therefore we find that Pinchas who Elio has to come to every this because he wasn't because he what he didn't find any schus on neisdal, and therefore he has to be at every this. So that you should learn schus on every single yid that bring to Hashem not only a carbon mimna behema, but they, they bring their own son through Mila on Yem Hashmini, which is similar to the idea of a carbon, and Bris Eilam, which is similar to the Kuhunas Eilam of Pinchas. Pinchas got Kuhunas Eilam, and we do a Bris Eilam. Then the devil went continued on the Sikha Basis the Mi'itil, and the Hira, that not every time do you have to answer Shilas. And sometimes there's a difference between and when it says answer an idiot, answer a fool, when the kavan is the shem shemayim, and when it says don't answer a fool. And that's that when they want to be matter something that Torah says you cannot, you have to stand with, with strength. Lamayla mitam badas. The Rebbe also smiled and said, um, as he finished the sugi, he said we could go even longer, but it's not meant to sit to learn too much nigla to, to on Shabbos, and therefore we're going to cut it short. Um, and then Rebbe, when he spoke about the idea, you have to stand lamayla mitambadas. You have to stand beyond logic against it. Like we see, the Rebbe says by the Nhaga that we say in the Siyan, that sometimes they would go into a discussion and sometimes not. And we know the story that one time someone came to the Rebbe and said, "How could he do something when there's this question and that question?" The Rebbe said, first do it, and then you'll have, that will give you the strength to understand." Naisa lenishma. Through the naisa, you literally have a deeper nishma. So just do. So too with yourself, when the Yetzirah is trying to cause you issues, the Eitzah is, pull him to Beis Medrash, Meshchel, Beis Medrash, like the Gemara says, and never finished off and said at the Pavlengen, that we shouldn't need all these good ideas. 
all these eights, because the Hashem is going to remove evil, the Gula Mitis Vashlema, after the Achana of the Gula of Neshama Klalis, which is a few could have on you based on after we had the preparation of the Gula of Neshama Klalis, we'll have the Gula of all Klal Yisrael, taken from Yad Mamash.